What's up? What's up? What's up? Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? What is up, yo? Hey, where's the music? Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. What is up, Kevin, Jerry, Albert, Mr. Poncho? Saludos, carnal. Johnny, Johnny Rubin, Bilon, Edgar, Antonio. How's it going? How's it going, y'all? How's it going? So, uh, okay, let me put the music down a little so we can start. All right, so I just want to make sure, first of all, can you guys hear me good? Can you guys hear me good? Can you guys hear me good? Yes, no, yes, no, maybe so. Let me know, let me know if y'all can hear me pretty good. What's up, what's up, what's up with the sound? Yes, no, yes, no. Uh, anyways, well, let's get started. Let's get started. The fish have, has been slow. Hear you good? Yes, thank you, Kevin. Thank you. Johnny, thank you. Well, anyways, let's get started. So, first of all, I want to say welcome. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Big Mouth Talk Show. I'm your host, your servant, Luis Garcia, a.k.a. Pep Garcia, here with you guys today. And I uh, also want to thank you all for joining the giveaway that we're going to be having this afternoon. Uh, well, this night. Yeah, evening already. Uh well, <laughs> so uh, thank you all who to join whoever joined the giveaway. Thank you, thank you guys so much, and thank you all for tuning in. Uh, please share some love. Share some love by slamming that share button. I mean, it's not gonna hurt you. It's not gonna cost you any penny or nothing like that. But you're sending love to me by pressing that share button. You know, uh, so we we can get out there and we can you know help other people who want to learn about bass fishing, who want to know about bass fishing who want to get a rod and who want to get started, you know, so they can hear our experiences, our stories, everything that has happened to us. But uh, please hit that share button. Yeah, thank you guys. Thank you guys. I will see whoever hits that share button. I will see whoever hits that share button. And uh, and I'll give you my thanks. Anyways, uh, thank you guys. And I want to say thank you to Bass Brothers, uh, Good Times Fishing Guide, uh, South Texas Bass Assassins, Canal Fishing Junkies, all those pages that have helped me and showed me how to catch bass, you know, with all their bass fishing anglers that, that are in there. I mean, along the way, uh, I've been learning about bass fishing because all of those pages and all of the people, there's so many, so much to say thank you. I thank you guys so much. And uh, anyways, so, whoa, where's the comment? I mean, where's the, where's the? Let me see. What's up? What's up? Okay, you guys hear me good. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you, Kevin, that you shared. Anyways, so my YouTube channel, you guys know, it's uh, STX Bass Fishing. It's STX Bass Fishing. Now, uh, right there uh, in the YouTube channel, uh, you can see my latest video where I fell down. I got all scraped up. I got hurt. Uh, it was awesome. But I still landed the bass. I didn't break the rod. It was pretty cool. Uh, had tons of fun. Check, make sure to check out that last video that I did, uh, and all my videos, all my videos. I mean, hopefully you all like them. Uh, I do them for all of you guys. That and because I love to catch fishes and get them on video, you know, and the adventures that I do too with them. Uh, also, my Facebook. Well, it's Pep Garcia. You guys are on it now. Uh, if if you know there's someone that wants to know about bass fishing or anything like that, tell them to join in. Tell them to come in to my Facebook under Pep Garcia. So they can join in also. Richie, saludos, saludos, bro. Voy a ponerle más español para ti, bro. Para ti, okay? Y also, Cash App, make sure... Oh, my bad. Also, the Cash App, uh, if you guys want to send a donation uh, towards uh, to my Cash App, I mean, I'd greatly appreciate it. I'd greatly appreciate it. I'll give you guys a shout-out. I'll send you guys some extra goodies and everything. Uh you know, because, I mean, you guys are helping me. You guys are helping, you know, the page, uh, the, the talk show and everything, you know, to get more uh, gear for this. You know, microphones, uh, webcams, uh, computer stuff, interface. I mean, all that stuff, you know. You're helping me. You're helping my family out. You're helping this out. You're helping the program. You're helping everything. So that's my cash up. It's the dollar sign STX Bass Fishing for whoever wants to send out a donation. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I'll send you guys some goodies, you know. So, uh, without further ado, without further ado, 
shout outs, shout outs to Janky Jigs from Douglas, uh, Douglas Green. Uh, he makes the jigs called Janky Jigs. Make sure to go check him out on Facebook. Awesome jigs, awesome things. Brian Lopez, Brian Lopez, you know, the guy who made that awesome, awesome art back there, that awesome painting. Brian Lopez on Facebook. Make sure you hit him up. ST92 Paintings on Facebook. Make sure to check him out and get something done like that. Mark Rodriguez, how's it going? Albert Garcia, when are you going to get on that topwater fishing? I'll answer your question right now, bro. I'll answer your, 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 your question right now. Uh, shout out to Good Times Fishing Guys with Rob Lopez. If you guys want to get on some giant bass at Falcon Lake, make sure to hit up Rob Lopez. That guy catches some big bass, big chunks. Also, if you want to catch thousands of white bass, uh, make sure to hit up Rob Lopez. He'll get you on them. Shout out to Mr. Ricky Yanis, bro. Thank you. Thank you for that donation last week. It was huge, man. Uh, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I sent you something, uh, a little something, and I'm going to send you something else in a bit, man. You know, as a thank you. Thank you, you know. So, guys, all right. So, what we're going to do today in the show, what we're going to be doing today in the show is, David Clark, how's it going? How's it going? Is we have a special guest, and his name is Nat Gonzalez. Uh, I met Nat Gonzalez through uh, Bass Brothers. Uh, we're there talking and everything. We started talking about bass fishing, of course. We, first time we went bass fishing was in La Jolla Lake with Nat. Uh, it was awesome. The dude's awesome. Dude's awesome. Brutal fisherman. The guy fishes Falcon Lake. You can check out his YouTube, Nat Gonzalez. He fishes Falcon Lake. He catches giant bass. He fishes the Rio Grande, uh, Rio Grande uh, River with uh, the with uh, with uh, Jose, Jose, Jocelyn Nava. Is it? Yes, right. Is it Jocelyn Nava? Yes. He fishes, he fishes with Jocelyn Nava there at the Rio, and the guy catches, uh, man, the videos are insane. Make sure to check out Nat Gonzalez and Nava's Wild Game TV on YouTube. Insane videos. Okay, so Richie, ¿quién es el invitado de hoy? El invitado de hoy es, se llama Nat Gonzalez. Nat Gonzalez pesca en, en Falcón y pesca en el Rio Grande. En, en, y, no, hombre, chécale su YouTube, Richie. Se llama Nat Gonzalez, Nat Gonzalez, el YouTube de, de él está con ganas, bro, está chidote. Y uh, Luis Nava, dice David Clark, yeah, but you know, his Facebook, <laughs> his Facebook is under Jocelyn. Uh, Luis Nava is, is the guy's name, but it, I mean, his Facebook is under Jocelyn. So, so, <laughs> my bad. Uh, Luis Nava is the guy's name, but anyways, anyways, uh, so please, guys, hit that share button, hit that share button. Uh, show some love towards the page. Uh, let's get more people in here. Let's get more people in here, more viewers and everything. And without further ado, here is Mr. Here is Mr. Nat Gonzalez. We're going to be asking him questions. We're going to be asking him questions about, you know, questions. <laughs> so here is Mr. Nat Gonzalez. Nat, how's it going, brother? How is it going? Hey brother, how you doing? Thank you for having me over. Hey man, thank you, thank you for for joining us. Thank you for answering questions. Thank you for being part of this talk show. Hold up, let yes, me sir. let me put stop um, on the music. There you go. Can, can you see me? I can see you. Okay. Okay. Oh, maybe there's a delay here in the screen. Yeah, it's, it's a little delay, man. Oh, there you go. I can see myself now. Yeah, yeah, it's a little delay, but I mean, the people are able to see us as we speak. As we're talking and everything. Oh, look, there's Jocelyn Luis Nava. Yeah, make sure you Luis check. Nava. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was here and I was like, no, that's Luis Nava. Yeah, make, so, yeah. make, make sure to check. His name is uh, Jocelyn. Make sure to check out his YouTube, uh, Navas Wild. Navas uh, Wild Game Outdoors. Yeah, Navas Wild Game Outdoors. Uh, make sure to check out Jocelyn Luis Nava. Luis Nava, if you want to put your YouTube channel there in the comments so that people can see. Your YouTube channel also awesome content fresh in the Rio, the Rio Grande, uh, the Rio Bravo. It's really good cook too. You yeah. should see his uh, Instagram. My dad puts a lot of good stuff. I don't have Instagram. They, oh I, man, I, I had to take it off. <laughs> see, yeah, but anyways, eh? Yeah. Okay, let me see. I'm 
Alejandro Rodriguez, I'm late. No, you're not late, bro. You're just in time. We we're just started. We're just about to ask Nat the questions. Hey, Nat, uh, yes, I, I I also had a question. Uh, what do you think? Do you think do you think the bats already? You know, they made their beds already. Do you think they spawned out already, or are they barely, barely spawning? Or are they getting ready? What's going on? Well, I believe they were preparing to um, the pre-spawning and stuff. Yeah. But this uh, random freeze came up, and I think it messed up everything. Uh, we went out, shortly after that freeze, we went out to the lake, and I got skunked. You got skunked. Um, in fact, I had other buddies out there, and they got skunked, too. I think uh, only one of our friends caught one, and he said it was a bank runner. Um, so I think uh, for now... You know, I would give it a week or two after the sun comes out, you know, uh, before we start seeing some big fish again. Um, but, yeah, the, the freeze did kind of slow down the fishing. Yeah, the the freeze, I mean, man, I, I went, well, today when I went fishing, I saw so many, I mean, dead plecos, tilapia, catfish. Uh, what I didn't see was shad. But I didn't see no dead shad. I didn't see no dead carp. Uh, no dead bass. I didn't see nothing of that. Yeah, I didn't see any dead fish when I went out to Falcon Lake uh, that Sunday. Um, but if there was any dead shed, I'm more than sure that they got eaten right away by the birds or, you know, other species. Yeah, I mean, uh, well, anyways, uh, let's let's get started. I wanted to ask you also, Nat. How long have you been bass fishing, bro? Uh, in Spanish, let me ask you in Spanish porque I got... Aunque, uh, ahí está Richie. Richie, lo voy a decir en español para que Richie también lo pueda entender. Uh, ¿Cuánto tienes uh, que andas tú pescando la lobina? ¿Cuántos años tienes? How long have you been bass fishing, Nat? Bass fishing? Um, bass fishing. I started in 99. Uh, Catfishing and bluegill, probably like 97, 98, when I was in 6th and 7th grade. But it, it was when I was in 8th grade when I first caught my first bass. I was uh, living in Haddock, Georgia. My mother and my sister were working at a peach factory over there. And on my time off, I'd head out to this little lake nearby. Well, it wasn't really that near to the trailer home we were living in. And I'd go out there to go catch bluegill yeah. on bobbers, and uh, I accidentally hooked a big bass. It was, well, to me, it was big. It was a, like a two-pounder. Um, I just saw the bobber disappear, and shortly after, it just surfaced, and I, I was able to bring in this bass. Um, I didn't know what to do with it. I didn't know if it had teeth. That was the first time I saw a, a, a bass, so I was pretty excited. But yeah, it was in 1999. Uh, I don't know how long has that been, like what, 20? 20... 21? About 21, yeah, 21 years of bass fishing. Dang, 21 years, yeah. bro. Bro, I only have four and a half, bro. I only have four and a half years, man. Yeah, um, I mean, it, it doesn't make uh, me any better. I'm going to explain this to everybody. Sometimes I get skunked and all that. Like, um, I'm glad it happened because I was stuck with bluegill, you know. Um, bluegill, I was my thing. I'd go out to the little, I guess you could call it Monte. Yeah. And we'd like just roll over logs and get earthworms. There's earthworms everywhere there. Cause it was like heavy brush and very like tropical like uh, Monte. Yeah. So it was pretty cool. I mean, uh, also, it's a really good experience. I'm glad we went out there to, so, so like they call it, Los Trabajos. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to ask, uh, can you guys hear Nat? Uh, can you guys hear Nat? Nat's volume? Or does he have to hire it a little bit, you guys that are watching? Uh, just to make sure, you know, I want everything because we got clearly. Uh, what do you guys say? Also. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can, I can hear you. I can. The Kevin Govin says, "Hear him good. Hear him good. Hear him good. That he hears you good, bro." So, all right, we're 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 good. So, Richie, 
Dice Nat que tiene él pescando la lumina desde el 1999, bro. ¿Qué? ¡Mande! Sorry. Uh, Jerry Guerra says a little bit higher, Nat. Uh, really? Let me see. Hey! Sorry. <laughs> so, all right, all right. Let me change the settings real quick. Jerry Guerra says, but I'm deaf. <laughs> <laughs> Julio Bazan, what's up, dude? What is up, bro? Hope all is good, Mr. Julio. All right, Nat. So, Richie dice que él tiene pescando la lubina desde el 1999, bro. Pescando gigantes desde el 99. <laughs> so, next question, Mr. Nat. Next question. What is your personal best bass? ¿Cuál es tu lobina? La otra pregunta es, ¿cuál es tu lobina más grande que has pescado? What is your personal best bass, Nat? My personal best is a 12-pounder. It was at Falcon Lake. Um, that same day, uh, my buddy also caught a 12-pounder. No way. Um, yeah. You better, got, you better have that on it video, was, bro. Uh, it was, I had just gotten my tracker, probably like the, a year, maybe in 2011 or something like that. Uh, we hit a honey hole. We were catching a bunch of monsters, bro. Like, we were on fire um, on a Carolina ring. Yeah. And, um, also, I don't know if you noticed, when you asked me for a picture of me with a big fish. Yeah. I don't think I have any. And, and in my videos, you'll see, you know, uh, in some videos, you know, I'm catching big monsters, and I don't really take pictures. Yeah. Um, so, that day, we were on fire, and uh, I was telling my buddy, I got too confident. I'm like, bro, we're going to maybe not catch a late record, but, you know, let's try to go for that 13, 14, you know, if it's even possible, right? But, uh, Damn. You know, 12 pounders, two in a row. 12, dude? I mean, come on. Row. On the same day, it was like, bro, we can do this. So, we released them. I released all my fish. Yeah. And uh, it didn't happen. That's where I messed up. It didn't happen. I didn't catch anything bigger than that. I started going here you know, like five, six pounders. Right? I mean, I'm not going to say it was a lot either, right? But we still had a bunch of good sized fish. Um, but yeah, it was probably one of my biggest mistakes uh, not taking pictures. No way, bass. dude. No. Any pictures at all. No. And I wasn't recording around that time. I, well, yeah, I was recording, but I kind of stopped recording my YouTube videos. Just, you know, I didn't think anybody really, uh, you know, I didn't really have a lot of subscribers then. No so, way. Yeah, yeah. I so, was, so I was like, damn, I'll just start fishing, you know, doing my thing. I love fishing. And, so it's a, a 12 point, just 12, solid 12. Uh, 12.45, something like that. Um. Yeah, I messed up. I really did. You really did, bro. <laughs> you really did. I got too dude. Confident, believe me, uh, we were catching back to back, and they were all good size, real pretty. And uh, we were going to take, like, a couple to put in the well, just to take, like, those. You know how some people take, like, you know, two big fishes in their arms and they just take that picture? Yeah. Um, but I don't know. I don't like to keep them in my light well either. Yeah. And, uh, it, it's a small boat, you know. Yeah, yeah, I, I get what you mean. Uh, the only ones that I do keep are like striped bass. I mean, not striped bass, white bass. White bass. Yeah, the white bass. I'll keep them in there so it's legal, you know. I mean, for whoever wants to take them. Like, yeah. The people that go with me. Yeah. Yeah, just when they're out of mine, there, there's a bunch of those. Yeah. Oh. So, guys, uh, again, uh, just a little cut. Uh, you know, press that share button so we can get more people in here. So we can get more people watching. All right, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank I'm you, guys. Seeing, huh? I'm seeing Freddie at night at the Got to go to Falcon then. Oh, I'll tell you one thing, Freddie. Uh, Falcon is not the same as it was uh, 10, 11 years ago. Um, we're losing a lot of vegetation, especially towards, well, like brush and trees towards the middle of the lake. Um, the, the water levels have been really low and uh, as they kept going down you know it, it fluctuates a lot um i've noticed like for example in front of the falcon state park there's this little island and uh there used to be a bunch of trees there they're gone they're gone uh, they've been shaving those trees uh you can barely see the 
you know, the bottom part of the tree. And uh, I've noticed that it's it's not the same as it was 10 years ago, uh, where you were catching back-to-back monsters, you know, like, even if you were a beginner rookie, you would, you know, you'd catch yourself, you know. I had my nephew catch a 9.5-pound bass, and it's on YouTube. Um, I've had, uh, I've helped people catch their PBs. And I, I'll probably just catch one or two that day, you know. If you're lucky, I'll get, get them. But it's not as good as it was back then where, you know, everybody was catching. Yeah. Yeah, that that's true. Like Falcon Lake, when, when it goes low, it goes low. Uh, it's just a different, different lake completely. And when it's high, it's just a different lake completely. They all just, you know, they go different places, man, the, the bass and everything. Uh, yeah. Uh, Nat, oh, bueno, Richie, Richie, dice él que la lobina más grande, la lobina más grande que ha pescado Nat es de 12 libras punto cuatro onzas, 12 libras punto cuatro onzas, gigantesca, y su amigo también en ese mismo día pescó otra de 12 libras, uh, where was it in Falcon? Yeah, um, I'll even tell you where it was exactly because, uh, I mean, the spot is not, it's on land, it's not underwater right now. Yeah. But uh, as soon as you leave the Falcon State ramp, um, the first cove to the right. Yeah. Uh, we were there and there was trees, I remember, um, and we we're throwing them next to the trees. I want to say probably about between 12 to 16 feet more or less. Yeah. And that's where it happened. We were on fire, man. Gotcha. And you know what? The crazy part is that my buddy, um, he had like almost zero experience in bass fishing. Yeah? Yeah. Insane. Was, I was like, when he caught it, I'm like, bro, you just realized you just caught a huge, you know, you know, he just caught a huge bass, you know, and he's like, yeah, yeah, it's big, bro. Like, no, no, you caught a big bass. They're really hard. Like, last two digits, they're really hard to uh, get. Man. I mean, you'll get it at eight, maybe six, seven, whatever. But two digits, and he's like, oh, no, cool. Because it wasn't a big deal to him because he was, like, you know, Dude. pretty new to bass fishing. Well, you see, I'm, I'm... Good luck being that PB. Well, yeah, I mean, I've been trying to break my PB of eight and a half since, since a good while already. No, no, yeah. no, no, the only place to break it would be... And a big lake, yeah, yeah, yeah a big, big lake. lake. That'd be a big lake, man. So, so Canyon, Falcon Lake, Lake Amistad. So oh. right, right now we'll get to Mr. Jerry Guerra's questions. But uh, next question, Nat, uh, what is your favorite bait or lure? You know, ignoring the fact of uh, what you know, like it's cold or it's hot or you know, and ignoring the fact of the days, you know, that you. And it's soft plastic or hard plastic. Hmm. If you had to choose one from both, um, my like the first, bait, like the first thing that boom rigged up and let's go. Oh, well, standard is the fighting frog, um, big bite bait, uh, fighting frog. I have that thing. Um, I mean, they're kind of hard to find. You have to order them online. They don't sell them at academy like they used to. But yeah, I take that. I catch fish at the river with that one, and that's like you know. Um, Probably, yeah, it's probably one of the best uh, creature baits that I've used. I mean, there's probably other ones that I just haven't tried, but big, that one's my go-to, yeah. Big bite baits? Yeah. The fighting That's frog? Nice. The fighting frog. They're, um, they're like the bandito bug. Yeah. But they have more ribs. Oh, wow. I guess you could say, yeah. The only thing I don't like about those is that they come they come apart real quick. Yeah. But overall, that's a really good bait. All right. So they're real juicy, salty. All right. Um, the good stuff. Yeah. So, uh, okay, all right. Next question. Next question is, uh, what's the craziest thing that has happened to you while you are out bass fishing, bro? Ah, Richie. Perdón. Richie, uh, que, eh, le pregunté cuál es su, su, su curicán o su, su bait uh, favorito. Uh, que él le gusta y él dice que se llama Big Bite Baits, el Fighting Frog. En español, no sé si está eso en español allá, 
Pero, sí, ¿cuál es su señuelo favorito para pescar? Es, se llama el Big Bite Baits Fighting Frog. The Big Bite Baits Fighting Frog. All right, so. Ándale, right ahí están, This ahí te los ando enseñando. Guy. Esos They meros. You see, it's real thin and it rips real easily, but it's really good and effective. Nice. There it is, guys. There it is, the fighting frog. Make sure, you, make sure you get your hands on those and then my catcher PB on them. You don't, you never know. You never know. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they're good to have around. I mean, I, I pick this everywhere. I, I got to get me some, dude. I got to get me some yeah, ASAP, exactly. bro. Uh, the Jer Jer Jerry Guerra asks, Nat, do you think when the lake comes back up, it's going to get good again? I hope so. Um, I I believe so. I think a lot of these fish are, like this last time that I went to the lake. Yeah. I was looking at my graph and there were like open water suspended. And, you know, there's really not a lot of cover right now. They drop offs and stuff like that. Yeah. But, yeah, I want to say when water goes up, he'll... I'm sure they're going to be hanging around the, the brush and, you know, ambushing smaller fishing creatures. Yeah. So, he he, he he says also, in 1993, when the water was all the way up on the boat ramp, right to the left-hand side, coming out of the boat ramp, there used to be a major, major hot spot. Yeah, right there. I mean, when you That's get out... Yeah, yeah. When, you, when you get out of the boat ramp, you turn to the right, and right there in that cove, in that cove, is where it used to be. Used to be used to be oh. it used to be good i mean but hey you never know you never know it might be a hot spot again it might be brutal my giants might come out it's just you know hey let's go let's go check it out let's go check it out really, yeah right well, closer to the state park the better i'll take gas and if i have to leave early i'm right there yeah and you can catch big bass also right mm -hmm. yeah yeah so mr net the next question the next question is Oh yeah, what was the craziest thing that has happened to you while you were out oh, bass yeah. fishing? Uh, ¿Cuál es la cosa más loca o más más uh, increíble que te ha pasado mientras estás pescando la lubina? Uh, well, fishing, craziest thing, but there's too many. There's always something like from getting hooked to getting lost at the lake. What? You got lost? Yeah. It was in Falcon Lake, right? That you got lost? Yeah, I think, yeah. That was a good while, I'll tell you that. I, I just sat down and started. You were crying. My fishing gear you were crying. <laughs> and like, I hope nobody comes straight at me. Yeah. And you know what the crazy part was? I had a smartphone. That was before my, my fish finder. I yeah. had a smartphone, but I wasn't getting any uh, signal. Any so signal? I, yeah, so I couldn't load a map or anything. So I'm like, no, so yeah, like, there goes that. I had my standard. Fish finder, it comes with a tractor bolt, so like a little three inch or whatever it was. Yeah. I don't know, I'll stay here. Gotcha. Uh, it wasn't that crazy, but I've had other crazy experiences, but never ending, I guess. There's always something going on. <laughs> There's always something going on when you go out fishing, man. Always. Always. Yeah. Jocelyn Ruiz Nava says, is it the Dean Rojas fighting frog? Uh, 
Yeah, that one. That one. That's the one. The Dean Rojas Fighting Frog. Dean Rojas and, Fighting Frog. And, I, and I'll share with you the colors that I like a lot. I mean, I'm not saying go get them, but just so you know, uh, it's the tilapia and the watermelon red. Watermelon those red. Two. Yeah, those two. Watermelon and red. I'll try the other one. Nice. And a Texas rig. Yeah. David Clark says big bite baits are big bite baits are good. I use six inch Sanko Bullfrog and Falcon. Insane. Oh yeah. Insane. Uh, Richie dice que la cosa más 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 uh, increíble que le ha pasado a este net es que se perdió en Falcon Lake, se perdió en Falcon Falcon, se, per, se perdió en Falcon y no sabía él dónde estaba ni nada. So se parqueó ahí en la orilla y comenzó a llorar. <laughs> 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 no, no, it's par- because I, was, I wanted to go fish and I was there. But, like, they stuck in the open water. They saw a little branch pop out this much. Yeah. And I just put my hand under water with a brush here for snake. I'm like, oh, I got nowhere to go. So I'm going to fix up my rod. Yeah. No, yeah. Uh, no, yeah. Uh, no, yeah. Pero que sí, que le han pasado miles de cosas como siempre que uno va a pescar y pasan un chorro de Dice, all right, ¿qué tanto ha cambiado la pesca de cuando comenzaste el día de hoy? Do you see it tougher? Do you see it easier? What's changed? Yeah, what's changed since when you've started bass fishing to now? Like, do you see it tougher? Do you see it easier? uh, We catch a lot more then. Uh, Even from the bank and uh, smaller boats. The fishing was a little better. I remember when Falcon Lake was in like in the top ten. I, I like, say, I say I that's true. In the magazine, um, in the Bassmaster magazine, that yeah. it was like in the top ten lakes, and all of a sudden, more people started coming in. Um, that was when, and I wanted to show you this. That's when Paul Elias. Toro Falcon Lake was this one. Oh the yeah. Jelly yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that's on YouTube. That video. Yeah, he, that, you know, this worm really does work, bro. Oh, well, it was working after all that happened. These started coming out at Walmart here, the local Walmart. Yeah, the Walmart. And uh, the watermelon red, I remember I went out there on a Carol- on a Carolina rig. Yeah, I was tearing it up. It was, uh, I'm like, wow, well, this stuff that really does work. Um, but yeah, um, I haven't really used it lately. But and I noticed one thing. Yeah. The packaging is different, and I don't think they make them as good as they were making them then. Yeah. Um, and I think that goes for a lot of these baits. You know, maybe it's the quality, the plastic. Yeah, know, it's, changed, it's the quality. Know, like maybe lower grade or something. I don't know. So Jesus. Same. Jesus Hernandez dice that que pues antes la pesca de lobina estaba muy, mil veces más fácil que ahora, porque pues. In my opinion, in my opinion, in my opinion, in my, in my opinion, antes la pesca de la lobina no se escuchaba mucho. Uh, hasta ahora, like, yeah, you know, it's, it's más, algo más grande. Uh, I don't know if you think, you think that's true, Nat. Back then, you know, back then, bass fishing wasn't that, that famous, you know, it wasn't like really noticed. I think it was. Uh, but now that we have all this social media and stuff like it's that, huge. You know, it, 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 feels like, it got huge. Uh, yeah, but no, there was it was. Uh, yeah, it was. Uh, but it got it got. Well, I guess it, you could say it got even more bigger. Right? Yeah, it got yeah, even exactly. more. So uh, a lot of guys uh, that I've met over the years because of my YouTube channel. Yeah. Local level, right? Uh, that have been fishing it forever, and they tell me all these stories. You know, like. For example, uh, Aldo Garcia. Aldo yeah. Garcia. Yeah. Uh, you know, he's been fishing it forever, too. You got Rob Lopez. Yeah. And uh, they've been out there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Uh, and they're still at it. I don't think anybody's, like, dropped fishing. <laughs> yeah, the, it, the golf maybe course. Maybe temporarily, a couple of months, years, you know. Like, I kind of slowed down for a while. Um, 
I kind of slowed down. All right. I'm trying to put more content out there. Yeah, I mean, make sure to check out Nat's YouTube, uh, Nat Gonzalez, uh, awesome YouTube channel. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So, Nat, uh, quick, uh, morning or afternoon? Where do you like fishing more, in the morning or in the afternoon? Uh, mornings. I like mornings. Mornings? Morning yeah. bite? Morning bite is better? The morning bite, and in case the morning is slow and it starts to pick up, I, at least I have that extra time. Um to stay a little longer yeah at not evenings i don't really have much of an option yeah i just fish at night but i don't really fish at night except that one time i went with rob lopez so it was pretty cool yeah uh yeah we it was a group of guys and it was uh well he has a honey hole right well a couple of honey holes yeah um that uh produce big fish for, yeah. uh, you know for being the night and stuff yeah there isn't a doubt about that dude Nat I mean, catches about one in the morning, two in the morning. Yeah, Rob catches them at night, dude. Oh yeah, I was on fire all the time. So, uh, Nat, uh, uh, Richie, le pregunté a Nat, uh, le pregunté a Nat que si él escoge qué le gusta a él más pescar en la mañana o en la tarde, y él dice que en la mañana, porque pues tienes un, aún más tiempo para estar pescando. Uh, Nat, what's the biggest bass you've missed in your life, and why? What happened? Did you see it? I mean, what happened? Well, I don't think I... No, I missed big ones. Um, but no, the, the... That I didn't catch that was big was probably a 10-pounder well, one time with the fighting frog. Um, but it wasn't, like, my biggest. Like I said, it was a 12, but this 10-pounder was... You know, it hurt when I lost it. I, I, I was actually recording that day. Oh, so you got it on video? Uh, I, I got it on video, but I didn't. I took it off YouTube. Oh. It was a short clip. Yeah. And I got, like, a, I just had, like, a silent moment. You know, I was, like, you know, trying to keep my cool. Gotcha. A 10-pounder. You know why it hurt a little? Uh, Because it was supposed to be, you know, it was going to be on video. Yeah. Um, Like, that day that... Uh, we caught those 12 pounders. Yeah. Was I didn't have a camera rolling or nothing, so I was like, oh, okay, cool, you know, let's continue on or whatever. Gosh. But this pounder was this 10 pounder was gonna be on video and yeah, uh, it was in those lows. Just uh, you know where that big house is in the back where there's a huge cross. I don't know if you know the lake that well, but there's a big cross. There was some trees there, and uh, I was just pitching. Yeah. No, I, I, I've never. I've never. Uh, no, I, I haven't been there, man. Yeah, you need to come out here. Uh, I, 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 so, I'm Albert sure. Garcia says, I need a trip to Falcon Lake. Dude. Oh, uh, just say when, bro. Uh, so, Richie. Ryan. Huh? Oh yeah, Brian. Brian. Brian says he used to know you, bro. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, dude, I used to hang with Nat, but Nat stopped talking to me, dude. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing, man. Welcome to my uh, my boat anytime, long free, of course. Um, what setup size of rod? What set? The Falcon. Yeah. Um, standard for me is a medium heavy seven foot rod. Um, and braided line, making like a 40 50. And if you're gonna be fishing around uh trees and stuff like that, not open water, open water, I go lighter, I go 12, 14 mono for deep divers and stuff like that. So, r before we get into the questions, uh, Richie, uh, Nat dice, Nat dice que uh, what was the question that we gave you? Oh, the biggest bass you missed in your life, right? Mm -hmm. Richie, uh, Dice Nat que la lobina más grande que se le ha ido a Nat es una de 10 libras que la tiene en video. Uh, la pescó y, y, y ya la iba a hacer land, pero que se le fue. Se le fue y se le fue y, y le dolió mucho. Adán Rodríguez. Uh, only in spinnerbaits I used to eat trader hooks. Yeah, those things have caught me some fish. 
Yes. That I would have missed on a regular spinner bait setup. Um, as far as uh, trailers for chatter baits, yeah. Um, I use flukes. And uh, what else? For the buzz bait, I don't use anything. Oh yeah, I do also use uh, the the uh, trailer hook. Oh yeah. Yeah, trailer oh, hook. Oh yeah, yeah, for the things that saved me yeah. a lot of fish, you know. Spinner baits, bro. Fish, so the little. So yeah, trailer hook for spinner baits and buzz baits. Always, always, dude. If you can find Alan, if you can find trailer hooks for your spinner baits. Do it, dude, because if you don't have those uh, uh, trailer hooks, the bass will just boop, hit it, and you're like, oh, there it is. And that's it, dude. That's it. Yeah, they'll bite the blade or, or yeah. the skirt and they they don't, miss it. They don't hit the hook. So when, when you have the trailer hook, they hit it, but then the hook in the back, the trailer hook, uh, gets it, gets the bass, like it hooks onto them, and then you're like, oh, yeah, I got them. You know, got the bass. And then, yeah, you get that giant out of the water, bro, right? Yeah, yeah. It's true. Mr. Willy uh, Medina. Mr. Willy Medina. Saludos desde Monterrey, Nuevo León. Uh, NM Willy. Lures. NM Lures. Hey, man. Master. Master Willy. Saludos, brother. Uh, y suerte ahorita en el giveaway. A ver, ¿quién lo, quién lo va a ganar? A ver, we'll see who's going to be the winner of the giveaway. He's g even giving up the location. Kevin Govin says he's even giving up the location on Falcon Lake to catch Giants. Yeah, yeah. I'm very, I'm okay with that, actually. Because, like I said, so, like, uh, the water levels change all the time. So, the fishing spots and everything change. The patterns, everything changes. So, I mean, it's good to know that they exist. Sometimes they'll work, sometimes they won't. It's always good to, to you know, have that extra intel. Yeah, I mean, I mean, uh, I always say, I mean, if we can give out locations so y'all can catch bass and everything, hey man, so be it, so be it, you know, helping out yeah. bass anglers. Yeah, that's what, yeah, that's what uh, my channel's about. You know, I I don't go around backgrounds where I don't get like weird angles or whatever. You know, if I show a spot, I show it along <laughs> with the bait. Yeah, um, and I do that because there's people out of town that look up YouTube. I mean, that look up Falcon Lake on YouTube and, you know, they want to see what's up, you know. So I'm okay with sharing, uh, you know. It's a, I, I'm out there to give a hand. If, I'm no expert either, but if I could catch a fish and show what I caught it with, I will to give a hand. Yeah, man. It's, it's, it's um, all about helping out other anglers to catch a bass. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, we, we go, this has happened a lot. We tell them about a spot that we go catch bass. And it's a spot that we go catch, but then they go and they try it, and then they don't end up catching. Uh, that's yeah. that's the thing with fishing. That's the thing with fishing. Some days are good, some days are bad. That's just the way fishing is, you know. It's not called catching, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Right. Um. So, if do you guys have any other questions for Mr. Nat Gonzalez? Uh, please let them know right there in the comments and uh, while you guys are writing down your questions if you have any other questions for him uh, make sure to check out his YouTube Nat Gonzalez on YouTube uh, awesome content on some stuff guy catches big bass uh, sometimes sometimes, I don't know. sometimes I get <laughs> all the times he always catches big bass <laughs> <laughs> No, no, I mean, that's, you know how it is. You know how it is in the bass fishing yeah. game, guys. You all know how it is. So uh, if you all have any questions, uh, let them know there in the comments. Yeah, my channel's all about uh, good vibes, you know. Um, the people that do comment, you know, I respond with whatever I can. I mean, I don't hold back a lot of stuff. Or, like, all the only stuff that I hold back is, like, stuff that... Is information that belongs to a friend or a spot, you know, and I don't want to embarrass, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to put stuff that's not original. Yeah, yeah. It's my, my stuff, you know. True. Um, but in general, man, if you, I'm, I'm open to sharing spots or, you know, tips and stuff. Um, yeah. And, and the people that do comments, I'll reply to them and, you know, I'll try to respond to as many people as I can. Sometimes they've been there for weeks, and I'm like, oh, man, I just saw this message all late and stuff, you know. But 
In my channel, I started it in 2009. 2009? Yeah, 2009. It's funny, I still have some clips. Um, I used to pay from the bank a lot here, and I still do. Yeah. In Rio, Rio Grande City. Yeah. Um, by myself, and I had a tripod with my camera and stuff, and I would just record. And I still have those videos. I started them in 2009. Yeah. They were like short clips. And uh, once I got my boat in 2010, so I started going, you know, I started recording more. Yeah. And the reason I started doing that was, you know, I'd be at work, my old job, right? And I'd look up for tips, you know, I wanted tips, Falcon Lake tips and stuff like that. And there was nothing. There was a, you would look up Falcon Lake and then you would start like, well, let me try another other words like uh, Tapasso bass fishing or Star County bass fishing, something or Falcon Dam bass fishing. And there was nothing. Yeah. I'm like, man, this, you know, it'd be nice to see some stuff out there, you know. So I kind of like said, well, you know what? I guess I could start putting stuff out there for other people, you know, to see how Falcon Lake is. But honestly, I, I knew very little uh, in the early 2000s. Yeah. So I didn't start fishing from a boat till maybe 2003 or something like that yeah. a friend of mine would invite me yeah and uh i would do a lot of bank fishing kayak fishing too i would do a lot of kayak fishing man no yeah so, i'm off i'm off for kayak fishing that's all like well all i do is bank fishing but i love kayak fishing uh but right now uh i don't i don't have the 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 kayak rack loaders on the explorer so uh, I need to get that. Little late, says Javier Solis. No, dude, you're just in time. You're just in time, bro. Uh, so if y'all can hit that share button, hit that share button, because we're going to be doing the giveaway right now. We're going to be doing the giveaway, and, well, good luck to all of those who entered. Richie says, ¿Has recibido un ticket por pescar en zonas privadas o porque se le haya vencido su licencia? Have you gotten a ticket for no fishing license, man? Um, one time. This was in 2005, I think. Ooh, you got a uh, ticket. It was for... Breaking the law, boy. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let me remember. I, I remember I got one for... Maybe for an old fishing license, yeah. For taking I 20 bass it. home? Yeah, because yeah, yeah, I <laughs> you can fish in a bank without no fishing license. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Wow. So as long as, if you're in a boat, yeah, that's different. You do need your fishing license. Wow. So I, your entrance fee covers the... Uh, oh, to fish the, the bank. Same. Yeah, you can fish the see? bank with no uh, fishing license. So you then... You can look it up. It's confirmed. Uh, so then you got a ticket for for having the no no fishing license? It will expire like... Four days. I think it was more than a month. It's expired. Oh, a month. Sí, uh, Richie dice que sí ha recibido un tiquete por llevarse como 20 lobinas a la casa y lo pescaron. <laughs> no, hombre, Richie, dice, dice Nat que sí ha recibido un tiquete uh, porque uh, no tenía licencia y él estaba en un barco. En Falcón, cuando estás pescando en las orillas, no necesitas licencia. Porque entrando al parque es como si estás pagando por la licencia, básicamente, de un día yeah. para pescar. Sí, that's right. Uh, al menos que si pescas en barco, pues ya necesitas licencia. Yeah, yeah. So, Nat, last question that I have for you, bro. Uh, any famous people that you met up there in uh, Falcon Lake? Any famous people that you met at the boat ramp fishing? Uh, you know, famous in bass fishing? Uh, not movies, not, not Brad Pitt or any of those dudes. Uh, no, like, uh, fishing, fishing, fishing famous people. <laughs> yes, yes, I've actually had two incidents. The first one was, uh, Alton Jones. Um, this was right after he had won the Bassmaster Classics. Yeah. At the boat ramp, my friend and I were leaving, we're getting ready to leave, it was already around. I don't know, uh, we, we would stay late, it was before or something. Yeah. Um, we were loading the boat up and while we're at the ramp there's yeah. nobody else so we were there taking our time whatever um i saw the boat 
from a distance. I didn't I didn't know what he what kind of boat he had. Yeah. And but I did recognize the jersey, blue and white, and I told my friend I didn't have good vision. I um I asked him, Hey bro, is that guy wearing I'm I'm like, Are you do you know who Austin Jones is? And he's like he's like, No, because I so you know, he's he's from like he doesn't watch any of that stuff, so I'm like I think that's Austin Jones, bro. And he's like so long, I don't care. So long. Let's just move the boat out of the way and let's go. So we go walking towards him. Yeah. And as I get closer, I'm like, that is Austin Jones, bro. Yeah. Like, so we approach him and say hi and everything. And yeah. I asked him um, if I could take a picture with him. She's like, sure, of course. And uh, before that happened, yeah. he goes into his locker, rod locker, whatever it was, and he, he has a, a few caps. And He's uh he's like here he gave my friend and I one and then he signed it he, so he put a uh, bad wishes uh uh with my name yeah and then I'm like oh I'm like and then we took the picture with him mm-hmm. so yeah he was pretty cool I mean and the second guy was uh, Mark Zona Mark Zona Mister Zona. Is on a, yes sir, really cool guy man. Like uh that was also at the boat ramp. I was uh getting ready to take off. Yeah. To start my fishing trip. This was like in the afternoon. Yeah. And as I was getting into my boat, I see like a bunch of guys in the boat, like a big professional, you know, like uh bass boat and there was a guy that kept talking and talking and talking and I was like, you know, that voice sounds familiar. Yeah. I didn't think much of it, and I'm like, man, it's probably a local that, you know, but I'm also, you know, it's a Mark Zona, he's like, really active and loud and stuff. Yeah. And then as he was getting closer, no se pos, que me dio, right? I, I, I'm like, is that you, Mark? Like, I just... You just said, said it, it you just... Yeah, I just, Mark, then, is it you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, I'm like, is that you, Mark? And then, like, the guy stopped talking, because I kind of interrupted, you know, and I had to think about it, that was pretty good. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, he's like, yeah, yeah. Hey, hold on. I'll be right there. So he started coming my way. And uh, he's like, hey, how's it going? Where? I'm like, good and everything. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I recognize your voice and everything. I just couldn't tell because there's so many people on the boat. Yeah. I'm like, I knew I had heard your voice somewhere. And plus, you know, I, I would see him on TV. You know, I still do. Right? Yeah. On YouTube yeah. Or and he's like, He's like, man, the, the fishing was all right today, but you just made my day. I'm like, oh, really? I'm like, well, you just made my day. I didn't even start fishing. I kind of didn't even care about fishing. This is pretty cool. That's insane, bro. Yeah, that is sick. Um, so I asked him, hey, uh, is it all right if uh, I take a picture with you in my boat? He's like, sure, definitely. And then he, I, I had a Sharpie in my boat. Yeah. And uh, I asked him if you could sign my boat, and he signed it. And somebody uh, said, so we started. Like, uh, this guy was really cool. And then he asked me, hey, uh, Send me a message on Facebook with a picture so that way I can know it's you. And uh, and uh, was your address? So the, I sent it to him and everything. And then he sent me a cap with stickers and a shirt. It doesn't fit me anymore, by the way. Um, but you got it there. <laughs> only little things, you know. I was like, but with his logo, right? The Z. Yeah, the Z. Uh, I still have a sticker in my old dog. Yeah. Pero. No, he was really cool. He's like, hey, man. Like, and you know what the crazy part is? What? That while we were there talking, there was a dude next to him. I didn't think much of him because he had a hat with sunglasses. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was, a, you know, the camera crew or whatever. Yeah. You know, so later on through Facebook, I find out that that guy was Jeff Creek. Oh. He makes uh, worms. The Creed worm. Yeah. He said, oh my God, that was Jeff Creed. I know who he is. Like, I, I see him on TV. And I'm like, yeah, I should have asked him to sign my boat too. You know, like, gotcha. sign in the picture yeah. too. Yeah. But I couldn't tell it was him because he he actually grabbed my phone to take a picture of me and Mark Zona. Yeah. And, uh, you know, like, I was too excited, honestly, to even think of, like, who this guy is. Because he couldn't, you know, he was, like, somewhat... Well, you can't really tell. Yeah, you, you can never tell, man. Uh, when you there's, never, you know, yeah, there's always, yeah. there's always like famous, like famous people right there and everything. And you're like, 
is that is that who I think it is or no? I don't think so. You know, you're like, mm, is it? And it ends up being that guy that you're thinking who it is. You know? Yeah, that was that was a good experience though. So. Yeah. So, Medium mark going. So Richie, lo que le pregunté a este net es que ¿Cuál famoso ha, ha visto ahí en el, en el, en el, en el, en la rampa de Falcón? Y Nat dice que Mark Zona. No sé si sabes tú, Richie, quién es Mark Zona. Que él ha visto a Mark Zona ahí en, en, el, en la rampa de Falcón. And uh, real quick, Nat, he says, uh, which, ¿Cuál ha sido tu récord de cantidad de lobinas en un día? Uh, how many bass uh, have you caught in one day? Like the total, like the the most amount your record over 50 over 50 50 and plus 50 plus nah well you didn't specify it. i'm 50 white bass <laughs> uh 50 white bass <laughs> yeah for so, 50 white bass no for for large mouth, large mouth. uh honestly i don't know uh in la joya lake oh well, see honestly i don't keep count like that day we lost the count yeah um, we don't keep count on the on how many bass no, because when you're on fire, you don't keep down. Like, yeah, that day. Ah, oh, you're on fire. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Damn. Um, no, yeah. Richie, Richie. 40 something, I stopped counting after that. I even turned off my camera. And I was like, no, this is, this is a, a lot of fish. Tons of dinks. So, Tons of dinkies. Yeah. Yeah, and so. That's actually all the whole lake, you know. Yeah, uh, Richie dice Nat que él ha pescado como unas 40 lobinas y, y más, uh, pero pues cuando estás pescando muchas lobinas y todo, no, no comienzas a contarlas ni nada, uh, pues ya estás feliz, you know. The question was given to Nat, uh, what has been his record of uh, white bass that he's caught, I mean white bass, uh, largest that he's caught, and it's been, uh, it's been 40 plus, you know, but in reality when you're on fire and you're just catching and catching and catching, uh, you don't keep count, you know, you're just, you know, well, you're you just... Oh, you were there, you were there. Yeah, yeah I mean... Catching and laughing about everything, you got to the point where we're just joking around. Yeah, all that matters was, uh, you have fun and catching bass, and yeah. you don't care how many you, you've caught. But, uh, Nat, Nat, Mr. Nat, thank you very much, thank you very much for being well, on this for show. Thank you Thank you very much for being on the show. Uh, anything you'd like to say to your viewers, uh, before they, they go... Uh, well, first of all, I want to thank anyone who's here who has subscribed to my channel. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of cool guys out there, local fishermen here. And, and uh, I know they're out there. I just I haven't fished with everybody. I fish with a lot of people, and uh, I'm thankful to know these people. And I hope and that I continue to uh, meet more, especially the local level. I learn from everybody, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh thank you just thank you in general for subscribing and, and commenting you know it's not a big deal it's not a big show or youtube channel but it you know it just shows that people out there you know there's a lot of cool people out there in the fishing community out here man it's probably one of the best communities you know in sports we all get along we know who we are and, you know yeah yeah for sure for sure mr nat gonzalez make sure to check him out on youtube nat gonzalez uh, his YouTube channel, Nat Gonzalez, and Adam on Facebook, Nat Gonzalez. <laughs> there he is. Yeah. Uh, if y'all need anything, you know, if there's anything I can do to help a, uh, another angler, I'm down, you know, from spots to advice, even if, when it comes to fishing the Rio Grande River. Yeah. Um, or Falcon Lake, you know, if you, if, if you haven't gone out there in a while, and I have, you know, you know, if you want to know how, what the bull ramps look like right now and stuff like that, just message me. Feel free. I'm very open to uh, people. I don't really, I'm not a reserved person. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I just want to make that clear. That's awesome, man. So, if you guys have any questions for Nat Gonzalez, make sure to drop him an inbox there on his Facebook and uh, ask him a question. He's more open to help you guys out, you know, if you have a question for him. Nat? Nat, thank you very much. Thank you very much yes, for sir. being on the show, brother. Thank you. Yes, I'll, sir, and thank you for the invitation. I'll inbox you right now, man. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, guys. Well, that was Mr. Nat Gonzalez. Uh, 
uh, there he is. If you guys have any questions for Nat, uh, make sure to inbox him and uh, ask him, you know, ask him any questions that he has. Uh, also, we are going to start the giveaway. We are going to start the giveaway, guys. Uh, the giveaway was just insane. Shout out to Mr. Juan Valencia who donated half of these lures. I mean, man, this is just, it's a freaking bag from H-E-B. Nah. <laughs> With meat inside and everything. No, no, this is just insane. I mean, this is full of Guggen baits, of Mr. Googers. It's, uh, it has a bit of yum in there also. It has a watermelon, uh, wait, yeah, watermelon red, uh, lizards, you know. It has the big bite baits crawls. Uh, it has the craw the 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 crankbait that Gabriel was swearing by last week on last week's episode. Uh, and it has the big mouth beanie. You know, for another cold front that's coming. Nah, I hope not, bros. But I mean, you have it there. You have it there on your wall or something. Uh, the swim jig from Strike. Uh, the booyah jig, swimming jig. I mean, this is just. I mean, they're in the picture. I mean, you can see in the picture how many, Jesus Christ, I mean, I mean, just insane. Baits over baits over baits over baits. So, I wrote down all of y'all's names. I wrote down all of y'all's names here in the wheel decide, all right? So, let me see if I could get it in here on the screen. Let me see if I can get it here on the screen. Give me a minute, y'all. Give me a minute, y'all. Give me a minute. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. There it is. Okay. There it is. There it is. Please disregard that ad. <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up. All right, there you go, there you go, there you go. Let's leave it there. All right, all right. So let's start the giveaway. All right, let's start the giveaway. So, so let me see. Should it be last man standing? Should it be last man standing? Or what do you all say? Last man standing, or the tenth or the twentieth. What do you all say, guys? Let me see. Let me see. What do you think? Last man standing, or should it be the tenth or the twentieth? Uh, the winner. What do you all think? What do you all think, y'all? What do you all think? Is anybody watching the show? <laughs> last man. <laughs> Brian Lopez. Last man. Jesus, but the show's already an hour and some long. <laughs> I'm starving, bro. I'm hungry, bro. Uh, Freddy says 20. Javier says 20. All right, 20. 20 it is because 20. Oh, 20. All right. Then the 20th will be the winner. So let me get this in the in the thing. Let's disregard, dis, what? disregard that app. So let's see. Let's see. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me see uh, where it says here, advanced options. Let me see, advanced options. Remove choice after it's landed on, check. Apply wheel changes, there you are. All right, let's go, let's go. Here it is, guys. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? So it's gonna be the 20th, all right? So let me be writing them down because uh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna get confused or anything like that you know so okay here's the first one the first name that's gonna be out is the first name that's gonna be out is christopher lee hernandez oh my boy my boy blue you're out mr chris chris you are out let's see who the next one is uh okay so we're on number two let's see who is next Oh, Mr. D. Clark, Mr. David Clark, you are out, Mr. David Clark. All right, let's see who's next. Let's see who's next. Oh my God, who's gonna win this? Oh, Brian Lopez, you are out, Brian. Mr. Brian Lopez, you are out, buddy. Let's see who's the next one. JJ Cardenas, you are out, brother. Thank you for playing. JJ, Mr. JJ. Next name, next name. Let's see what's up. Let's see what's up. Let's see what's up. Who is going to be out? Mr. Mike McClowski. I hope I said your name right, brother. 
Mike McCloskey, you are out, brother. So here's to number six. Let's see who's out. Number six. Remember, the 20th is going to be the winner. We're in number six. Mark Clark, Mr. Bass Daddy. Mark Clark, you are out, buddy. So sorry about that. Thank you for playing. Here's number seven. Number seven. Number seven. Number seven. Let's go. Let's see who's number seven. Gabriel Garcia. Gabriel Garcia, you are out, brother. Thank you for playing. Number eight. Let's see who's number eight. Let's see who's number eight. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Enrique Garza, you are out, brother Enrique. Number nine. Let's see who's number nine. Number nine, number nine, number nine. nine, 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 nine. Uh, Roger. Roger Vela Jr., you are out, buddy. You are out. So sorry about that. Let's see who's number ten. Number ten is... Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta, Kevin Govin. Oh, my man, Mr. K. V. D. Mr. Kevin Govin. No, Mr. K. G. Yeah, K. G. <laughs> Kevin Govin, you are out. I was trying to add a third letter in there, but I'm sorry, dude. I didn't. But let's see who's number 11. Number 11. Number 11. Let's see who's number 11. Mr. Freddy Hernandez. My homie Freddy who went out fishing right now. Uh, he caught tons of bass, tons of bass. I don't know if you guys ever hit your knee and then you just wanted to throw up. And, and yeah, that's what happened to me. I fell down, hit my knee now, and wanted to throw up, and I started seeing lights. That happened to me, dude, and it sucked. I don't want it to happen to none of y'all. Anyways, next one, next one, number 12. Number 12 is, ooh, Richie, Richie. Estás fuera, Mr. Richie. <laughs> Here's number 13. Number 13 is, let's see who's out. Number 13. Number 13 is Mr. Ram Rosales. Ram Rosales is 13, 14. Let's go. 14. Let's see who's 14. Richard Lozano. Oh, Mr. Richard Lozano. So sorry about that, Mr. Rich. Thank you for playing. Let's see who's 15. 15, 15, 15, 15. Adan Rodriguez, jeez, man. Adan, you are out, buddy. 16, let's see who's 16. 16, 16, 16. Michael Garcia, jeez. Mr. Michael Jordan Garcia, you are out, buddy. Number 17, let's go. Number 17, who's number 17? Jesus Hernandez, yes. Mr. Jesus Hernandez, you are out, buddy. So sorry about that. Here's 18. Here's to 18. Here's to 18. Let's go, guys. Let's go, guys. Oh, Jair Medrano, my homie. Jair Medrano, you are out, buddy. So sorry about that. Here's number 19. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Number 19 is Esteban Valderas Jr. You are out, Steven. So sorry about that, brother. Okay, here's the winner, y'all. Here is the winner. Let's see who the winner is. Good luck to all of y'all who are still in here. Uh, you know, the winner, plus I'll be inboxing you, uh, you know, after this. Uh, anyways, uh, let's see. Oh, and stay tuned for the next giveaway. It's also going to be a huge one, guys. It's going to be a giant, giant, giant giveaway. Oh, here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. And the winner is from Monterrey, Nuevo León. <laughs> I'm going to have to ship the things to Mexico. Mr. Willy Medina. Mr. Willy Medina. Master Willy is the winner. Make sure to go check out his Facebook, NM Lures. NM Lures. Hold up, hold up, y'all. Hold up. Oh, Mr. Willy Medina. NM Lures. <laughs> what's going on here what's going on that i can't see <laughs> uh, oh my god you guys all i see is all i see is falcon pete join uh yeah when that guy joins uh oh. anyways <laughs> congratulations mr willie medina guys stay tuned on the next giveaway that i'll be having it's gonna be a huge 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 oh no it's gonna be a huge one make sure to check it out so uh, thank you guys. Thank you guys for joining on this uh, talk show. Thank you guys. If you guys got any questions for Nat Gonzalez, make sure to inbox Nat. Uh, if you guys have any questions for me, make sure to inbox me and let me know. Uh,
congratulations to the winner. Uh, thank you all from the bottom of my heart. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, I'd appreciate a share, you know, uh, uh, a share on the show. Uh, so, you know, more people could get in it. More people can know about bass fishing. More, we could get more in, you know, the community here in South Texas uh, to know about bass fishing, you know. And also in Mexico, you know, wherever this this is going. Like the winner here, he's from Monterrey, Mexico. So, yeah, it's insane. We also have a viewer from, uh, hey, Kevin. Kevin, where are you from, brother? Falcon says, when I join, that's when the party starts. Get out of here, Mr. Falcon Pete. Uh, Kevin, uh, Kevin is also from up north Texas. Uh, no, not even, uh, U.S. He's from the U.S. up north. Uh, but anyways, I mean, we got different viewers here. Uh, that's where, where my point is going. We should keep everything. Else. So uh, thank you guys. Thank you guys for joining in this talk show. Stay tuned for uh, tomorrow. Uh, I will be posting the giveaway for next week on Thursday and see what we have for you all on the show. All right, guys. So. Thank you all and see you guys later.